Hello and welcome to this episode of the How to Pronounce series. Today we're looking at the a uh sound, also known as the schwa. Thinking about how to make this sound then. This is a very relaxed vowel. We just want to open the mouth a little, keep the tongue and the lips completely relaxed, just rest that tongue in the bottom of the mouth. We vibrate the throat and we keep this sound short and we just allow a sound to be released from the mouth. The sound we're looking for is uh, uh, uh. So a little information about this sound then. The, the schwa, the uh, is used in two main places in British English. It occurs very regularly as a weak form of words such as the word to, which as a weak form we pronounce as t. I'm going to the shops, for example. And the schwa also occurs in longer words, multisyllable words, as a way of creating weak syllables. So if you look at the example word potato, we can see that the stress is on the t, and we have the uh at the beginning of the word p potato to create that weaker syllable so that the the t can be stronger. And you'll notice there that the word is actually spelt with an o, but we have the schwa sound. It's really important to notice that in English the schwa sound is not associated with any one particular spelling. It can be spelled in many ways. So some example words then with this sound. We have alarm, away, sister, doctor, better, Colour, flavour, centre, actor, mother, second, company, important, information, national. And you'll see there that sometimes the schwa is written in large script and sometimes it's written with a smaller letter. So that just shows us that with the smaller letter, it's slightly less pronounced uh, than, than when it's with a larger letter. And also um, you will find that this sound occurs as part of the double vowels or the diphthongs, which we'll look at in other videos. So we won't worry about that for today. That was our brief introduction to the schwa, the uh sound. As always, if you check the description below, you'll find links to other useful videos for practicing this sound. This is definitely a sound worth practicing if you want to sound more British and actually practicing with this sound can really help your listening because native speakers use this sound a lot. And so if you're not listening for those weak forms, it can sometimes seem as if a sentence is grammatically bad or wrong. But once you're listening for the weak forms, you realize that those small grammatical words are indeed there they're just not being pronounced perhaps in the way that you would expect them to sound. So this is a real key, not only for your speaking, but for your listening. So that's enough for today. Uh, have a great day.